Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix Silent Hill F. He's having an issue with Unreal process has crashed UESHF GPU crash dump trigger error and how we can fix this up. So let me directly get into it. So what you need to do is the first and foremost step. We need to do a restart on a PC and we need to try DX12 or DX12, DX11 in the launch option. So to do a restart on a system, this is what you have to do. First go over here in the start icon. Now from here, go to the power icon and do a restart. After the restart is done, sometime, you know, that might work because a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. So you can try with a simple restart. Next one is all about, you can go over here, right click and go to the properties. Now from here, we have to go to the launch option. So the first one, we need to try DX11 and we have to launch the game and that might work. Or you can try with DX12, then you can launch the game and that might work. Either the DX11 or DX12. Any one of these might be working. So you can try this out and that might work. Next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to rename or delete the config folder. So that will be, you'll be losing all the saved game file. To do so, what we need to do is we just need to go over here, go to the file explorer. Go to this PC, go to local list C, go to users. First, go to admin, go to app data, go to local. Now, from here, scroll down and navigate to SHF. We can see, so just get into SHF folder. Now, from here, go to saved. Now, this is the config folder. So, first, we need to create a backup for this. Once the backup is created, you can right click and you can go to show more options. Go to rename. You can add config dot one, two, three. After changing this, you can launch the game and that might work. Just go back. Now, once again, you have to go over here, right click and go to show more options and go to rename. Now from here, be first, you have to create a backup. After creating the backup, you can change this name to one, two, three. Then you can check. Sometimes after renaming, if you launch the game, that might work. This is what you have to do. Next one is all about, we need to perform a clean installation of a graphics card. So we need both Nvidia and the AMD. So I'll be providing a link in the description, both NVIDIA. So if you go over here, you can see this is GeForce. Select every variance according to your need. That is GeForce, GeForce RTX 15 series, NVIDIA, GeForce RTX 5090, etc. And go to find. Now, once you go for the find, just wait for a bit of time. And that will take you to this particular page. Now from here, if you're on the Windows 10 or 64-bit or Windows 11, you can download this particular version of a graphics card. That is 581.29. That is the latest version of a graphics card. And you can download this and install it and you can check. And also, if you're on the AMD, you can just go over here, select the graphics card. Now go to RX 5000 series. Go over here and go to Submit. Now, if you're on the Windows 11 with 64-bit edition, we can download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10 with 64-bit edition, we can download this one and you can check. And also that might work. Next up is all about laptop users with dual graphics card run the game on dedicated graphics card. So to do so, we just need to go over here, search for the graphics settings, search for the graphics settings and click on this one. Now from here, we need to add the game. Over here, I have already added many games. Similarly, I have to add this game. So just click on add a desktop app. Now from here, go to this PC. Go to local disk E, Steam library, Steam apps common. Okay, this is on D. Go to Steam library, Steam apps common. Now from here, Silent Hill. Now select this one and go to add. Once you add it, once you add the game, if you scroll down somewhere else, you will be able to find it. Now from here, you have to expand this and you have to, the GPU preferences should be changed into high performance. And now we have to close this and you have to check that might work. Next step is all about, we need to run the game from the installation folder. Try run the game as an administrator and also disable the full screen optimization and also try running the game in the compatibility mode. So to do so, we just need to go over here in the file, I mean on the game, right click and go to manage, browse local file. That will take you to this. Now from here, you have to select the game, right click and go to show more options. Go to the properties, go to compatibility. Now first, we have to put a check on run this program in the compatibility mode. Put a check on disable full screen optimization and also put a check on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. Once you're done with this one, you have to close this and we have to launch the game. 
Make sure in this all about we need to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program such as Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, MKFA, Komodo, Windows Security or Firewall. So first we need to go over here, search for the Windows Security, click on the Windows Security. Now from here we have to add the game. So to add the game just click on the virus and the protection. Now from here click on manual setting. Now from here click on add or remove exclusion. Now go for yes. First click on add an exclusion and go to the file. Now from here you have to go to this PC, go to localist D, Steam library, Steam amps, go to common. Now from here you have to go to Silent Hill F, select this and you have to add it. Once you add it, you have to check. Next one is all about, we have to go over here, search for the control panel, click on the control panel. Now from here you have to click on the Windows Defender Firewall. Now go to allow Namper feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here we have to scroll down a little bit and we have to add the game. Most probably the game will be added here by default that is Silent Hill F is added. So but if you don't find the game you have to click on change setting, go to allow another app, go to the browse, navigate to this PC, go to localist E, sorry just go back, go to localist T, Steam library, Steam amps, common. Now from here go to Silent Hill F. Now from here you have to select this and you have to add it. Once you add it, you have to close it, then you have to check. Next one, we need to verify the game file. This is a very important step. So just go over here, right click and go to properties and go to install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. This will take a lot of time. The thing is, as this will be cross checking every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So it can try this up and that might work. Next up is all about try installing the Visual C++. So you can just go over here, search for uh, install Visual C++. You can just search here like this and click on the first one. And now from here, if the system is based on x86 or 64, if the system is based on x86, you can download this one. And if the system is based on x64, you can download this one and we can check and that might work. Similarly, if you go over here, you can skip this step if you cannot launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, you can change the windowed mode on uh, lower down the video resolution, all those things, which I'll be showing you right now. So for me, the game is launching. So let me launch the game.
So guys, once you get into the game, just go over here, click on the option. Now from here, go to graphics. First and foremost step is all about, you have to scroll down, navigate to the motion blur. So make sure if the motion blur is turned on, you have to turn this off. Now just go back at the top and over here, if this screen mode is not in the full screen, for example, most cases, this would be in windowed mode, sorry, full screen, change the screen mode to the windowed mode change into uh, screen mode to the windowed mode then go to the frame rate make sure from the no limit change this to 16 fps or you have to lock it at 16 fps and make sure the vsync is turned off now uh, rest everything cannot be done everything can be kept medium and make sure the motion blur is off so these are the things that you need to do once you've done this you can just go back you can just exit the game after you make sure you uh, do all these changes, then you can launch the game and that might work. For many users, it did work it, so you can try this out. This is only applicable if the game is running. Now you just need to go back and we need to check what are the rest steps. Next is all about, we need to increase the virtual memory. So uh, to increase the virtual memory, we just need to go over here, search for view advanced system setting, click on this one. Now from here, we have to go to advanced, click on settings, go to advanced, go for change, uncheck this and make sure you put a check on this custom size. Now go for the initial size, that is 1.5 times throttle RAM and the maximum size 3 times throttle RAM. So just go over here, search for the calculator. Now from here, you have to go to 60 GB, multiply it with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 1.5, that is 24576 copy this and we have to paste it so if you don't know how did i calculate it so this is simple just type your ram of computer first so mine is 16 gb then i have to multiply it with 1024 then i have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 copy this value and you have to paste it once the value is being done just go over here just you have to close everything over here then you have to check and that might work Next step is all about, we have to try power saving mode, turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, try launching game using NVIDIA app and optimize it. If already optimized it, then reward optimization and close the NVIDIA app. So what we need to do is first of all, just go over here, search for the control panel. Now click on the control panel. Now from here, just wait, click on the power options. Now from here, change this to, from the balance set, change this to the power saver and you have to close it first if it is set. Then you just need to go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, you have to go to system. Now from here, you have to scroll down and navigate to display. Now from here, you have to scroll down and navigate to the graphics. Now from here, click on advanced to graphics settings. And if you're having hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, you have to turn this off. That is very important. So you have to turn this off after turning off this. So if it is already on, you're fine with it. But if it is off, you have to turn this off. Then you have to check. Next one is all about go to NVIDIA app. And we need to try optimizing the game. In the sense, there are two ways. That is once the NVIDIA app is popping up, what you need to do is the first and foremost step. First of all, you just need to go to the drivers and make sure it is up to date. And if you're a, a game person, make sure that you set into game ready driver or you can change it to studio driver, then make sure it is up to date. As you can see, there is reinstall, so we need to update it. Then you just need to go to the settings. Now from here, the NVIDIA overlay should be, if it is turned off, you have to turn this off. That is very important. And also if you go to, you have to turn on the NVIDIA overlay, that is very important. And then you can just uh, go to the graphics and make sure you have to add this silent hill here. So over here, the silent hill should be added. So uh, uh, it is actually having a trouble right now. So uh, once you get into the graphics, you can just add the silent hill here. Once the silent hill is added, you can close this and you can check. Next up is all about update the system BIOS and make sure that you unplug all the external devices such as hot ass, pedals, raising wheel, razor, tap to rest, disconnect all the additional USB connected to the PC, disconnect additional joystick or controllers connected, disable Steam overlay, close all the overlay applications and NVIDIA. 
Do not overclock it and set it default, close the overclocking application and etc. And that is what you have to try. Last and the least, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game to a new drive. So to do so, uh, just go over here, go to Silent Hill, go to Manage, uninstall it, then you have to reinstall it back. Right now, as you can see, in my case, the game is installed on D. So I have to try either E or C, and that is what you have to try. And these are the steps, and I hope this kick will be very helpful. That's it. Bye-bye.